SEMA's 2026 syllabus updates have finally been announced, but don't worry if you haven't heard anything about it, because in this video, what we're going to do is go through the changes to each level, how they affect the course and anything you guys need to do next. So let's get started by talking about the Evergreen model. SEMA's new Evergreen model is designed to keep the syllabus current without overwhelming students. This approach means smaller, more frequent updates as opposed to the big overhauls that would happen every five to six years previously. The more iterative update style is about aligning with trends such as AI, sustainability and agile working. So what has actually changed in the syllabus? Well, here are the main themes across the 2026 blueprint. Firstly, we have clearer learning outcomes. Now these have been updated for precision and are not specifically a content change, but they are going to impact the way that your questions are asked to you. Next, we have a content update, which is that generative AI has been added to E1, P1 and P3. Next up, we have that sustainability and data ethics are more explicitly stated in the syllabus and in the material that follows. And then finally, we have a slight increase in emphasis of performance management in P1. So what about these generative AI content additions? Well, in E1, you'll look at how AI changes operations and the role of management accountants in business. In P1, it's all about how AI is used in cost analysis and planning. And then in P3, the focus is strategic. What are the risks and opportunities AI brings to the business model? Just to put a real world take on it, think about the tools that accountants now need to know. So for example, chat GPT or predictive analysis. So what impact will this have on the case studies? If you're taking a case study exam from 2026 onwards, that means examiners can examine this content. This might mean a question on how a business uses generative AI, or perhaps it might be a question on ethical dilemmas during automated reporting processes. What should students do if they are already studying? If your exams are before 2026, you have nothing to worry about. But for those of you who will be examined after that time period, it is worth considering that you should change your study materials to more updated content as soon as possible with your provider. Or if you're a new student, then it's really important that you find a provider that will have their study materials updated by the time the syllabus actually is released. At Astranti, we're already in the process of updating our content to make sure that it is syllabus ready for 2026. So if you're starting now or you're considering updating your materials as you might be taking an exam after 2026, then follow the link in the description to our materials to find out when they will be updated and get hold of them if they have already been updated by the time you're watching this video. 